As you get further into programming, it's very important to know how to round numbers. So in this video, I'm going to just teach how to round to the nearest integer. And so um, a couple things here. Uh, it's important to understand casting uh, when you do rounding. So I'll just create another integer variable, uh, maybe 7, and I'll create another double variable. Here, I'll go double b equals 2.3 and I'll make c equal to um, 5.9 right so let's talk about how to round some things I may not even use the integer in this case but we'll see uh, now it's important that we take a look at b and c let's start with b and I, what I want to do is I want to round it and of course if I output it right now I'm going to get uh, just a simple basic 2.3 but it needs to be rounded. Now some would say it would be really easy to round that because that thing rounds down if you cast it as an integer. If you cast it as an integer, remember it drops all decimals and you would end up with 2, which is what you want. And that's all fine except for what if I w it doesn't work for C because 5.9 5.9 will drop to 5. It will not give me the 6 that I'm hoping for. So just casting as an integer doesn't quite cut it. It doesn't quite do the rounding for me. All it does is drop decimals. It floors it. It's a round down procedure. But the goal for me in this, in this video is not to round down. The goal is to properly round like you would in mathematics. Round up if it needs to round up. Round down if it needs to round down. And so the trick, the trick to that is to realize that what you need to do is you need to first add 0 0.5. Now think about what happens. You need to add 0 0.5 first. So in this case, if I were to add 0 0.5 in my problems, B would turn into 2.8 and C would turn into 6.4. Now, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense at, in the beginning, but think about what happens now. If I add 0.5 to these numbers, I get 2.8, 6.4, and then I cast them into an integer, the 2.8 will become a 2, and the 6.4 will become a 6, and that's exactly what these numbers up here should round to. This should round to a 2, and this should round to a 6. And all that you have to do is remember that if you add 0.5 to your variable and then cast as an integer, you will properly round to the nearest integer. You'll properly round to the nearest whole number. And so if I were, I'll add one more output statement here, and like I want to round b, so I have to add 0.5 to it and these will give me the correct roundings. I'll run this and you can take a look at the output window. I get 2 and 6. So this rounds to a 2 and, and C rounds to a 6. That is actually the technical process to rounding a decimal to the nearest integer is you add 0.5. Now think about what's going on there. The reason that it's working is remember if my number needs to round down, okay, I would have a number like let's uh, use like 7.0 to, now if it's going to round down, I have 7.4, of course it could go 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, whatever. Those were the numbers that will round down. Now remember what that means. When I add 0.5 to those numbers, I will get 7.5 to 7.9999 and so on. Oops, sorry about that. I will get <laughs> 7, that's right, 0.99999 and so on. Now, after that, I cast it as an integer. And remember what casting as an integer does, it drops all decimals. So 7.5 to 7.9999 becomes 7. And that's exactly what I want for this range of numbers here. I want these to all become just 7, and they do when I add 0.5 and I drop all decimals. 
Okay, likewise, if I have some number that's supposed to round up, so if I have numbers like 7.5 all the way up to 7.99999, okay, when I add 0.5 to those numbers, think about what I'm getting. I'm getting 8.0 to 8. and now I'll have 4. Uh, 9999. And when I cast these into an integer, remember that what that will do is we'll take the 8.0 and turn that to a plain old 8. And any of these other numbers, it drops the decimal off. And so it will give me 8 no matter what on these. And that's exactly what this process does. So if the number needs to be rounded up, like here in these cases, when you add 0.5, it bumps it above the next number, it bumps it up 8 and above, and then drops the decimal. If a number needs to be rounded down and you add 0.5, you're still in the 7 range, you're still in that number's range, it drops all decimals and you basically are rounding down. That's the, the really important way and a really key method to rounding to the nearest integer. And if you ever in the future are looking at a um, college course or if you're in high school looking at an AP computer science course, this is the official way to round to the nearest integer.